the can is full of compressed gas. Under pressure, it's liquid. Hit the nozzle, and it sprays out as a gas. But what about its potential for a combustion catastrophe? To find out, first, a flammability test. Playing the role of our ignition source will be this here lighter, which will be lit from a safe distance by our handy-dandy incinerator 8000, because, you know, try not to lose an eyebrow. Hey, it's time for us to have a talk. I know I don't need to tell you not to try this at home, but this story involves a paper shredder and canned air, two things you find in a lot of households. So let me add one more bit of discouragement to this mix, and that is the propellant of this can. It's great for our ozone, it doesn't deplete it, but when you set that propellant on fire, it creates a couple of really poisonous compounds. So please, don't try this at home. With everyone safely in position, it's time for ignition. This is canned air flammability test in three, two, one. Did this light? But there's no liftoff. Nothing. Nada. Oh man. Oh, it's just oh. it's just putting the try flame out. Try it again. Yep, the liquid propellant is vaporizing into gas. The air's just putting the flame out. <laughs> but Team Shredder has an idea to alter the mix. Maybe if we flip it upside down, then we'll get a better result. OK, let's do it. Let's yeah. try it. Let's go try that. Time to flip this can upside down. Oh. The theory is that gravity will push more liquid down through the nozzle, adding more fuel to the fire. OK. This is canned air flammability test, upside down can, in three, two, one. Oh! There we go. Do it again! Oh my god! That is so cool. That is really cool. Yes. That was awesome! So canned air is flammable. Upside down. <laughs> wow. Nice. So by intentionally misusing their bust off, the team has the desired outcome. 